Over the years, I've fought so many bosses. So, so many bosses. And I was thinking the other day, what genuinely makes a creepy boss and what bosses have I been the most creeped out by? And it's usually a sense of dread that I feel looking at some monstrosity that could suck my soul out of my eyes. I'm a big fan of how Lovecraft depicted his monsters in his stories, and I love anything body horror, so anything with tentacles, big eyes, and sharp teeth, I just love that shit so much. So without further ado, here's my five favorite creepiest bosses that I found in video games in the last little while. So the first boss on this list has to be the One Reborn from Bloodborne. This guy is basically just a big amalgamation of flesh and bones and piss, maybe. What's creepy about this guy is the bell maidens around the area. Once you kill them, he slowly starts falling apart. So it's assumed that the bell maidens are creating some kind of ritual that's keeping him held together. What the fuck? And don't even get me started on the level going down to this guy. You're going down the street and there's just bodies stripped of their flesh everywhere and they look like they're trying to escape from something. The whole place just looks like one big sacrificial pit. It's really creepy stuff, man. The funny thing about this guy is he's kind of a pushover. He looks like this big intimidating outer god, but he's kind of a little wimp. That doesn't take away from the fact that he's menacing as hell looking and I hope I never find myself in the Bloodborne universe. I also hope I never find myself in the Dead Space universe because this guy is just as creepy. They call this big old meatbag the Hunter. The worst part about this guy is he has regenerating cells, so you can't really kill him. The only way to fully kill him is to incinerate every last cell in his body, so good luck. This guy is basically the definition of when overkill is actually needed. There's nothing creepier than unloading a hailstorm of bullets into this guy, turning him into a gooey pile of mush, and then watching that gooey pile of mush slowly rebuild itself. There's just something inherently creepy about something that can't be killed. All right, the next boss is Aldrich, Devourer of Gods. I'm just gonna say right off the bat, that's a creepy name. Now, I know what you're thinking. This guy doesn't look that creepy. And you're right, he doesn't look that creepy on first glance until you see this. He's basically a giant ravenous slug thing that swallows his victims whole. When you come across this guy's lair, he's literally in the process of swallowing a poor guy named Gwendolyn. As you're fighting him, you can hear him scream in agony as he's being slowly digested. And I mean, just look at this disgusting tail thing with all these bones in it. This guy needs to be put down for good. The next boss on this list would be Lisa Trevor from Resident Evil. This is probably the saddest story out of all of them in my opinion. She just so happens to be the daughter of the architect who worked on Spencer Mansion. After the mansion was completed, her father was killed and she was abducted and forced to undergo crazy experiments that turned her into this grotesque thing you see here. Her whole life has basically been torture, and she wanders the Spencer Mansion halls looking for the ones who wronged her. Like the hunter, her cells regenerate at a rapid rate, so she can't really be killed by bullets. There's even some parts in the game where it looks like she tries to kill herself by jumping off tall ledges. The creepiest part about this boss is her moans you can hear reverberating off the hallways that she's sluggishly creeping through. Uh, guys? And this last boss, Rykar, doesn't even need an introduction. He's literally my favorite boss in any game ever because, well, I'll just play the clip. Oh, very well. Oh, 
Join myself and King as family. Together we will devour the very God.